today is actually a nail tutorial and uh, my nails aren't done yet but what I'm gonna show you guys how to do is actually the ombre nails and I know ombre everything is like super huge I actually did my hair ombre I have a little highlight here to blend it in but um, ombre is huge it's like everywhere it's on everything so I wanted to show you guys the famous tutorial that's been going around everywhere with like the sponge and um, in two colors of nail polish. So I, I actually have done a couple of different methods and I think the sponge one is definitely the easiest. I actually think it's best with using a makeup sponge. And this is just from like a little set, look like a flower. And when you break it apart, you get like this little sponge. What I'm gonna do is I have already coated my nails with this. this is a really great color from Dior. It's from their new collection. It's called Charnel and it's just like a really beige, beige nude. It's super, super light. And I wanted to create a really high contrast. So this is one of the lightest colors I could find. And then I'm just using, this is actually another color from Dior and it's like a really bright pink. It's called Lucky. You can use any polishes you want. They don't have to be, you know, the same as these. It can be wherever they want. These are just the two that I'm using because I like that they're in the same family. They have like the same hues going on and um, I really do love both of these colors. So I am going to, I went ahead and I have two coats on here and my nails are completely dry. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the sponge and starting with the lighter color, the Charnel, I am going to take that and I'm just going to paint it right here. And I'm putting a really thin, thin amount, not too heavy. And once you have that done, you don't wanna to use too much of the darker color and this is the Lucky and I'm basically just putting a full coat on here, but I'm drawing it in kind of like a straight line. I want it to be as straight as possible. So you can see I have those two colors going on. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your nail and you're gonna see where you wanna create the ombre. And you're basically just gonna kind of press it on. And now you can see I have kind of like this pink stripe. And to blend it in, you're just gonna kind of go back and forth, up and down, just to blend it in. And the more you do that, it doesn't look so smooth, and I'll show you guys up close. It just takes a little patience. And you can see you kind of have an ombre going on. And I'll definitely do a, a close up and I'll show you guys how to fix it in case there are any problems. You can see I have two nails ombre. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I am just going to, I'm gonna flip it over now just because the sponge can start to get kind of old and it will start to kind of peel off onto your nail. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm doing the other side of that nail. And I'm doing just the other side of that. And and do whatever you need. You can stipple. It's not just pressing it on. If you press it on, you will notice it won't be smooth at all. I like to go back and forth and then kind of stipple. Now the only thing left to do is really to clean up your nails and I have these super mini q-tips. I got these at um, like a beauty store I think in the states. Um, you can use a pointed q-tip that would be fine and then basically you're just dipping that in nail polish remover and then you're just going to basically clean up the side so it looks nice and clean. And once you clean up your polish you're going to notice that your nails still are not completely smooth. You definitely have to use a, a top coat to kind of smooth that out. So I'm just going to use like any clear top coat. And what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to apply, um, I'm going to apply a couple layers actually, really en enough um, just to make sure that it looks really smooth on top. So I'm, I'm going to start with the first one. And you'll notice as soon as you apply the first one, it starts to look really smooth and kind of like clean. And once you apply a top coat, it really just smooths out any of those edges that you may have, any of those things that may be keeping it like from looking really smooth. It just makes it look all really beautiful and smooth. And I love ombre nails. I just think they're so cool. And you don't need to go to a salon to do it. You can do it right at home. You can do it in just like 10, 15 minutes and have it done and have such a cool like little nail art that you did yourself. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.